In the trackless wilds of Canada's far north, roams one of the largest caribou populations on the planet. It's like one big pasture for caribou out here. Quebec's Leaf River herd numbers in the tens of thousands and produces some of the best bulls found anywhere. That's the key reason longtime outfitter Alan Tardif has located his camp along the banks of the Leaf, the northernmost camps in all of Quebec. Fly over the tundra and it becomes clear that it is a vast pasture for the Norse abundance of caribou. A trip to this part of Quebec would not be complete, however, without testing the waters of the leaf for its world famous brook trout. Got some of the perennial favorites here. We got the woolly buggers that are just ideal this time of year for Lakers and also for the brookies. Good mix. There we go. Ah, that took a long time. Look at the colors on these things. Unbelievable. Look at that fish. Ha! Ah. Oh, look at this guy. What a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Isn't that incredible? Look at the colors on that. Let's just let him go, huh? Hey, big fella. This is one of the most remote areas of the Canadian North with untouched vistas from horizon to horizon. Up here, the days are slow, but the fishing is fast. Oh, right there. Oh, that's a good fish right there. Oh, that's a good fish. Good fish. I'm fighting the current too, but I, I think this is a good fish. Look at these rods, it's running like a bone fish. Look at that. Oh my God, this is a fish. Woo! There we go. All right. Isn't that handsome, huh? Golly. Let's get a look at that guy. Isn't that gorgeous? Just gorgeous. Look at the coloring on that. You know, where I grew up, they got about that big, just about the size of a cigar. So to see a brookie that size is just amazing. Talk about handsome. Mm, mm, mm. That was really slick. They're here, huh? Pretty good spot here, huh? Yeah, not bad at all. <laughs> Almost like you fished it before. My God, I got another fish on. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, a better fish, right? Oh yeah, he's a pretty male too. See the colors on him? Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, he's pretty good. Nice. Look at the colors in that guy. Looks like somebody melted a box of crayons in that fish, doesn't it? Golly, almost surreal. Members of the char family, aren't they? Yeah. Not, not really a trout, but they're a char. Beautiful fish. Amazing fish. The action was so hot, we drew an audience. Look at the caribou crossing the river right here. How about that? So we figured we'd give the local caribou a show. Oh, look at that. Oh, was that slick. He just came right up and hammered that little muddler. Oh, oh, oh. Embarrassment of riches here, I tell you what. Fish everywhere. There we go. There's a pretty male there. I'll be darn. That's a nice fish there, yeah. Nice, look at that. There you go, buddy. Every cast into this honey hole seemed to end with a tight line and a gorgeous fish. Oh, there's a good fish right there. Whoa, that might be a laker. Whoa, whoa, oh, goodness. Well, he doesn't want to give up, I'll tell you that. Let's get a look at this guy, huh? All right. That one is a nice fish. That one is a little bigger. Why don't you hold on here and I'll snap a quick photo. Look at that. Well, that's a great brookie, isn't it? My goodness. All the colors of the rainbow in there. Wow. Gorgeous. Right there, right there. There we go. Ah, too cool. That was too cool. Very, very cool. I had the one for lunch. 
Oh man, is that a beautiful fish. Look at the colors on this. Oh my goodness. Tangerine gold there. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. He's going to be gorgeous in a skillet too, isn't he? Used to walleyes and pike and stuff like that for shore lunch. This would be uh, quite a luxury to have brookies. A fresh catch in the skillet? Well, that's a fine encore to any day of fishing. Boy, is this good. Wow. 